All right. Let's move on to the next big Predator story. This was coming out the same time as the Predator 2 comic. It's called Big Game, and this is a four-issue series by John Arcudi, pencils by Evan Norkin, inker Armando Gill, colorist Julia Laquament, I don't know, letters by Kurt Hathaway, and yeah... This one's about Enoch Nakai. He's an American soldier stationed in the Southwest. I'm thinking New Mexico, Arizona area. I can't remember specifically. But there's a Yaucha on base killing killing his buddies. And he goes rogue to try to kill it himself. Now this is a fun one. And for the longest time, I thought it came after Cold War. And you want to know why? The novel comes after Cold War. Because, yes, this got a novelization. This is the only non Schaefer book to get a novelization. Of, at least at this time. It was. We're not going to talk about the novelization here because I have not actually read it. So we're just going to stick with the comic. Um, this was the big follow up, really, to Concrete Jungle. And I kind of love that. It honestly, I think it's better than Concrete Jungle, and I'll tell you why. It's a predator story. It's a predator story in a small town. Enoch Nakai, he's a cool character. He's conflicted. He comes from a bad background. And you get a little bit of his Native American heritage in there. Uh, talk about like the reservation and stuff a little bit. He's from like a border town. It's just interesting. It's interesting there. Also, we're seeing the Yaucha hunting other things than humans. It's hunting big game out in the desert. Like hogs and stuff. It's it's fun. It, it, it's fun. It reminds me a lot of Prey. And I think the, uh, the screenwriters for Prey really read big game on like... Why don't we do this, but a little differently? And that's how we got Prey. You know, what a good source material to, to take from and do your own thing with. Because it makes sense that the Yaucha would come to Earth and they wouldn't just hunt humans. They would hunt other big game, you know? And I really like this one. The art's pretty good. It's pretty 90s. But like classic early 90s. I really like the line work specifically in this. I I think it's just straight up a solid comic. Anyway, what would I give this? I'd probably give it a good 4.7 out of 5. I think it's better than Concrete Jungle. And what would follow. So join me next time as we jump back into the Schaefer trilogy. With... Cold War.